Yep, that's me. And in Watch Dogs Legion, it could be you. Or you could be a street artist, or a beekeeper, or any other citizen of London. They're all just a few favors away from joining DedSec, the hacktivist collective turned rebel group. Right now, I'm Dan Iyer, one of many immigrant construction workers helping build the future of this city. Or at least he is when he's not getting endlessly hassled by Albion, the private army that's taken over London, or helping DedSec accomplish its plans. Anyway, I bet you're wondering how I got here. Which is suspicious timing, if you ask me. It is. Can you think of anyone with a grudge against you? I recruited Dan while playing as Catherine Lim, a spy working for DedSec. And when I say spy, I mean in the classic sense. Car that shoots missiles, watch the jams nearby firearms, and so on. Albion was giving Dan trouble, so I took care of that trouble by shutting down a car bomb that Albion was planning to pin on Dan. That was a pretty big favor, so Dan offered his allegiance in return, giving me instant access to construction sites with his innocuous orange vest and hard hat, as well as a nail gun ideal for securing loose ends, and even the ability to fly using his huge cargo drone. As Dan, my first real assignment from DedSec had me making contact with Hamish Balaji, an engineer who defected from Albion. His waterfront flat was just across the marina from a local CTOS hub that I could use to remotely hack his security, and I could have used a couple of convenient window washer lifts to get up there before exiting in style. But why hack your way to the top when you can fly? Construction workers may not seem like the most obvious choice for undercover work, but their ability to summon a cargo drone anywhere, anytime, not just from special drone stations like other operatives can, makes them an essential addition to anyone's roster of DedSec operatives. Accessing the CTOS hub, I saw Hamish had rather a lot of security. Shotgun powered, in fact, but it was nothing I couldn't handle. Hamish wasn't happy about the intrusion, but once he figured out I was with DedSec, he decided not to blow me up, a courtesy he did not extend to the Albion troops who barged in after me. Surrounded and armed with nothing but a pig mask and a shock pistol, I legged it, shimmied up to a hidden ledge, and called in a cargo drone to make good my escape. Or wait, no, I didn't. Unless you're playing with permadeath, getting taken down by Albion or the cops means your operative will spend some time cooling their heels in jail. But in this case, it didn't take too long because I'd had the foresight to recruit a barrister named Olena Vernidub to the cause, who got Dan's jail time reduced significantly. Meanwhile, if he'd been smacked down by criminals or run over by a car, having a paramedic on the team would have shortened his hospital stay. Drone expert. With all the operatives at your fingertips, you don't necessarily need to escape a mission for it to be successful so long as the main goal, in this case contacting Balaji, has been accomplished. So while I was waiting for Dan's release, the next mission kicked off anyway, and it fell to other DedSec operatives to infiltrate the Tower of London which Albion's boss, Nigel Cass, had turned into his personal headquarters. No private police! After a few well-intentioned but ultimately unsuccessful tries, I chatted up a disgruntled Albion guard named Kennedy Dowd, who agreed to help out so long as I liberated a van full of drugs to help wean her friend, who'd been unwittingly addicted to them by a mob-controlled doctor. After convincing her to join, I stepped into Kennedy's shoes and sent her in to spy on the meeting, but there was a hitch. Someone had caught wind of her defection, and while the uniform was enough to avoid suspicion from a distance, anyone who got too close would recognize her as a spy. Luckily, a few phone and camera hacks let me distract any suspicious guards and slip past, and I walked right up to the meeting room just in time to see Cass shoot a man for questioning his authority. No more debate. With the HQ now on full alert, I turned on Kennedy's personal cloaking device and escaped through the haunted catacombs under the tower always one step ahead of the mysterious sobs and whispers that echoed through its stone halls. What the fuck? As Kennedy emerged into the safety of the Thames, Dan emerged from jail, so I switched back to him and responded to an SOS beacon from someone who seemed to know a little too much about DedSec. This someone turned out to be Richard Malik, an analyst for the SIRS intelligence agency who suspected some of his own colleagues might be behind Zero Day, a mysterious entity that framed DedSec in a series of bombings that transformed London. These pricks are going to blow up Parliament and hang it on us. Not if you get to that detonator first. When Malik didn't show up for our meeting, I immediately suspected foul play, and sure enough, Bagley, 
the all-seeing AI in the ear of every DedSec operative, pieced together some local CCTV footage to recreate the scene of his kidnapping. I tracked Malik to a local construction yard, called in Dan's cargo drone, and took an overwatch position high above the pit while hijacking another drone to drop explosive payloads on the unsuspecting guards while drawing their attention away from me. A couple of creative hacks helped me free Malik from his impromptu torture room, and with his help, I went on to infiltrate Sir's headquarters, hack their servers with the help of a handy spider drone, and make off with a list of possible spy agency malefactors. Not a bad day's work for a man in a hard hat, but it's just one story and London's full of them. When Watch Dogs Legion arrives on October 29th for Xbox One, PS4, PC, and Stadia, and on Xbox Series X and PlayStation 5 when those platforms launch, you'll be able to recruit any of London's citizens that you find in the open world to your DedSec crew and start creating a few stories of your own. For more on Watch Dogs Legion and all things Ubisoft, subscribe to this channel and visit us at news.ubisoft.com.